Hi, Sag. Welcome to your reading. Let's get a number for Sagittarius. Number for Mutable Fire. So we're going from November 21 to December 21. By the way, Sagittarius. <clears throat> So according to the Henschel's chromatic circle, uh, and there are a lot of <clears throat> things about sound astrology and sound astronomy, um, but here is your note. It's G sharp. Um, <clears throat> so tuning in literally to Sagittarius, can we have a number that's relevant for mutable fire? Ten. How do you like that? Five, four, and one. Can't complain about that. And that is uh, one of your cards, the Wheel of Fortune. What else do we have? Another ten. Six, three, and one. Wow. Jeez, Satch. Okay, what do we have here? Karmic justice. Beautiful. Another karmic justice. So two tens, two twelves. Two on one side and a three on the other. No fives. Awesome. Sag, <clears throat> looking good. This deck, <clears throat> I think, is um, warmed up for you because the King of Wands is sitting at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> What's the issue, please, for Sag? I knew he was there, by the way. Um, what's the issue? Like, you know, I looked at it. <laughs> um, what's the issue, please, for mutable fire? What's the issue, please? Something useful. In okay, no, it's too many. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to let this, we're going to let this flip. Okay. Issue for Sagittarius, please. Issue for mutable fire, please. Definitely not on that side. Issue for mutable fire. What's the issue for mutable fire, please? It may have been that. I'm going to take this one out in the box. Oh, wow. Uh, the Emperor. Okay. <laughs> and the Ten of Swords. Aries, Gemini, Sag. I'm going to see if I can get something to clarify this issue because I'm not confident about that Ten of Swords there. Emperor and Ten of Swords. Um, can we clarify this or have a fresh perspective on the issue for Sag? Okay. That, that, and this. Okay, so uh, some of you are dealing with fire. Some of you are dealing with Capricorn, no doubt. It's two cards of Capricorn there. Um, it, this could have to do with um, evening something out. You may have been juggled by a Capricorn or Capricorn may have been refusing to take a position. Okay. Um, you may have ended it because it wasn't stable enough for you. Just going to get one more clarifier for the, for the central issue for Satch. Central issue for Satch. Okay, something flipped there. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. There's the, yeah. So you moved away from some trickery. I believe that whoever this was, they were causing you a lot of mental anguish. <laughs> but this person wants a reunification, Sag. This person wants to reunify. They may be moving toward you. So look out. <laughs> okay. Let's get the challenge. What's the challenge for these Sagittarians? What's the challenge? All right. Boy, this is really talking now. Choices about a Capricorn <laughs> that you walked away from. They feel terrible. <laughs> this is pretty clear. All right. Um, I'm going to stick with this deck because this is interesting. 
What's crowning Sagittarius's reading? What's crowning their reading? We'll get your person's feelings down in a minute. What's crowning their reading? What's crowning Sag's reading? What's crowning their reading? Okay, so the person that you left out in the cold wants a fresh start with you. They also want to message you. <laughs> they may be waiting for you, okay, to message them. Um, either that or they're waiting uh, to give you a truth. Boy, do they have something to say. Um, what I'm seeing is that sun in Virgo and the King of Swords, I think this person wants to be clear with you that they want to work, put work into the relationship. I'm going to get one more card for what's crowning your reading. Can we clarify that series of cards, please, for what's crowning Sagittarius? So here's what flipped Sag. I think we're very clearly dealing with Sagittarians who are dealing with Capricorn. Okay? So Sag, Sagittarius and Capricorn. So this person suddenly wants to put work in on the relationship. They want to message you. I think this person caused you a lot of grief. Not a tower moment, but just a lot of mental anguish. They may be losing sleep, Sag, okay? Um, now, let's get their feelings toward you. Yeah, so they want a major change right now. They want movement into this transformational. Let me get some, can we get some more feelings from, the, from Sagittarius's person, please? Can we get... Uh, the feelings from Sagittarius's person, please. What are their feelings towards Sagittarius, please? What are their feelings towards Sagittarius, please? What are their feelings towards Sagittarius, please? Okay, yeah, they're losing sleep over you. Oh, and they want to come toward you. They are losing sleep over you. They want to come toward you, and they want to put this relationship back together. They want to fix it. They want to repair it, to resurrect it. Like my deck, like the card in this deck, it may not be repairable. It may not be repairable because they waited so long. They waited so long. It, this is not, I hate to use the word fault, but um, I can, I'm getting the feeling of a Sag hanging in here for so long, you know, and then having to make a decision that, to move on. I don't know why this happens. Anyway, neither party really is at fault. It's just frustrating. Okay. Um, okay. So let's put the cards back together and look into the recent past. Okay. Um, this is very clearly about Sag and Capricorn. Yeah, you are their wish. What they really want to do right now is move toward you. What they really want is to move toward you right now. It may be too late. Okay. From your point of view, like in your mind, you may have had it. Because I see you, um, you are the one that pulled the Ten of Swords there. They're the one losing sleep. Okay. And you had to do a walk away. Um, can we get some energy for the recent past, please? The tape is going to break again. Just a second. Can we get some energy for the recent past? Recent past for Sag and Capricorn, please. All right, here we go. Recent past for Sag and Capricorn. Recent past for Sag and Capricorn. Okay, so I think that was Saturn and Taurus. Yeah, so they're waiting. So the Earth sign in the recent past... Um, was waiting on you huh. because so they they have invested emotionally in this you may not know this I thought something was flipped it maybe it didn't no it didn't um, I'm gonna get one more card for the recent past actually I spent so much time shuffling this deck for set some energy from this deck can we have um some recent past for Sag and Capricorn, please. Can we have some recent past for Sagittarius and Capricorn, please? Recent past, please. Recent past. One more time, then we're switching to the other side. Okay, 
Yeah, again, um, Sun and Virgo, I think they want to work on this. I mean, there's an Earth sign who was waiting, and then they suddenly wanted to work on it. Get one more from the other side. Or they may have been thinking about you repetitively. The problem is they weren't taking action. That's the problem. That was the problem, I think. Let's get one more card, though. The recent past for these Sagittarians. Okay. So I feel like a truth came out. Yeah, look, this is definitely Capricorn. No doubt. So in the recent past, you may have learned... I mean, there's the Ace of Swords. I don't know if this was a truth uh, that came to you or a truth that they wanted to bring to you. There's the Earth sign. There's cap. There's tr the card of transformation and the card... It, this may be a realization by Capricorn that you two do work together. There's Mars and Capricorn that is clearly... It's Mars, it's fire energy and Capricorn. So it's where the... Uh, the uh, Capricorn energy organizes the fire energy. They, it works well together. Uh, and there's the card of transformation. So the Ace of Swords, it may either be a truth that was brought to you or a realization um, on their part um, and, uh, that you do work well together. I don't know if any of this was communicated to you. Okay? Or you may have seen a transformation in them that they wanted to work together. It's hard to figure out. Let's get one more card for the recent past. I'm going to look at this. Yeah, again, they're waiting. Look at this. Twice now. So they invested something. They are waiting in the recent past. I really think this is a Capricorn. Okay. Um, as I was sitting here trying to figure out what deck we should get the outcome from, I just looked at my dice. And um, the way I had put them down, we had three fives there. So there's your number 15. You know what that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, one third, we're going we're gonna to get the outcome. Instead of getting it from the traditional deck, let's get it from Wildwood, okay? Can we get an accurate outcome? Sagittarius, please. Accurate outcome, please. Accurate outcome. Accurate outcome, please. For Sagittarius. Can we get an accurate outcome? One more time and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, so we've got two. <laughs> you won't believe this. This is great, Sag. Who did I say this was about? What number did I just talk about over there? Number 15. You see that? I know that it's reversed, but it's number 15. It's the guardian. It's your Capricorn. Okay. Guess who's there with Capricorn? The Wheel of Fortune, number 10. It's you. So the outcome is you guys sitting there together. <laughs> Um, I think that was beautiful, Sag. All right. So um, I hope that resonated with you. And um, it looks like you've been very patient. Okay. Have a great day. Bye,